Do you need more listing leads? Because today I'm gonna to show you five proven strategies on how to get more listing leads in today's market. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Amber Joy with Influential Agent. And my goal is to give you bite-sized ideas on how you can be influential in your real estate market all while growing your business. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell if you wanna get notified anytime we upload a new video. So let's dive right in. Number one at Influential Agent is always your sphere of influence. So what we want you to do is reach out to your sphere and offer them a free CMA, but make sure you have a really good script to get this one going. So the script might go something like, hey, did you know the US housing market increased by $1.9 trillion last year? And as your real estate consultant, my mission is to always make sure you know how the value of your home is going. So if you would like a free CMA to find out the value of your home, please click the button below or give us a shout. And when they click that button, it's going to send them to a landing page, just like the one we're showing on the screen, that allows them to easily put in their data without having to give you a phone call. The easier that you make it for them to reach out to you, the more results you will have. And we're also gonna follow up with a video text to make sure they got our video email with some very important information. Now, this is something that can really help you identify who in your sphere of influence may be thinking about moving in the next 12 months. So this is something we do in the Sphere Influencer program yearly, and it's something we definitely recommend that you try. We recommend that you reach out to your Sphere of Influence at least annually with the offer to give them a complimentary CMA because this helps you to identify who in your Sphere of Influence may be thinking about moving in the next 12 months. And a little side tip, make sure you let them know that this offer applies to any of their friends and family so you can get those referrals going. So I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this idea for your sphere of influence. All right, so let's move on to idea number two. Now, I personally love this group, and that is my VIP group. Now, VIPs are people that are from my sphere of influence, but they're somebody who has either done business with me before, meaning they've closed a transaction with me, or they've sent me a referral. So therefore, they become a VIP or somebody that stays in my VIP program. Now, I spend the most time and the most marketing dollar in this category, and it produces huge results. So having VIP events quarterly will get you face to face with the most important people who already have proven to love to send you referrals. So when you wanna get those listing leads up, make sure that you're not abandoning this category. You should have quarterly events whenever possible, be reaching out to them either monthly or quarterly with a personal contact in addition to those events, and also, we love giving VIP gifts quarterly, just always showing them our appreciation throughout the year. Now, some other ideas we've heard is to start a Facebook private group just for those VIPs. This is where you guys will get obsessed with providing value to each other because they might have businesses that could benefit from referrals just like you do. This is also a group where you can share all the details of your upcoming VIP events and even share the photos from that VIP event where everyone's gonna wanna go in that group and really talk to each other. The third category is an oldie, but a goodie, and that is for sale by owners. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this has not always been my favorite category, but with some newer technologies, it has become a whole lot easier and cheaper to market to for sale by owners in your desired area. Here's a statistic to keep in mind about for sale by owners. Only 13% sell within their desired timeline, and a mere 18% got the price that they actually wanted. So rather than purchasing expensive lists, yep, that's right, there's lots of companies that will send a list straight to your inbox of the newest expired or for sale by owner listings. But because for sale by owners is not my main focus, and I only wanna go after for sale by owners in my ideal area, I prefer not to spend money there, but instead to use a website that gives me that information for free. Wanna know the website? It's Zillow. Now the reason I like to use Zillow to get this information is because number one, it's free. Number two, I can target and draw a line in my exact geographical area 
where I'm going after only for sale by owners that are in my desired price range and area. And the last reason I like Zillow for this is the phone numbers that are listed for the actual home seller are a lot of times more accurate than you might get from a purchase list. So now I'm gonna jump to my computer and show you really quickly how I do this. Go to your internet browser and go to Zillow.com. Then next you're gonna go to the upper left-hand corner and hover over where it says buy. Underneath that, you click on for sale by owner. And then it's gonna pull up uh, geographically what you're closest to city-wise, but you can also put in a zip code um, in the upper left-hand corner, or you can use the plus and minus down here on the map to locate exactly where you're looking for or drag it around. Uh, you can see here in Allen, Texas, which is where I prefer to sell in, close to me, there's only two for sale by owners. So you can go ahead and go after this, or you can make the area larger. To broaden your list, go to the map and just hit the minus button to get to a larger area. And then you can not only type in up here in the upper left-hand corner, but you can go to the right and click draw. And what you're gonna wanna do is you can draw around any parts of town, whether it's circle, square, whatever you want, and say, actually, this is my preferred area. Click apply, and it'll widen your list of how many for sale by owners are available on the right-hand side. I will go ahead and click on the listing that I think matches up with my ideal client. And you'll notice it pulls up, of course, all the photos of the property, but where you're gonna find the homeowner's information is when you scroll down on the right-hand side, and you're gonna have to scroll quite a ways. It's going to have the uh, premier agents or the agents who are paying to be seen on Zillow first, but if you notice underneath their names is going to be the property owner and their contact information. So I find this contact information is usually their cell phone number because they themselves put it on there and they listed it on Zillow. So it's going to be an accurate number for you to go and mark it if you want to see if they're willing to work with buyer's agents. So there's two key things that I want you to really make sure you're making a priority when you're reaching out to for sale by owners. And number one is to make sure that you follow up at least 12 times. Now I know that seems like a lot, but most for sale by owners don't make a decision or make a move until week seven to 10. So we wanna make sure we have at least 12 follow-ups because for every situation, it can be different. Second thing we wanna focus on when, when working with uh, reaching out to for sale by owners is to use video text. Now, texting is a much preferred method over phone calls. Matter of fact, 80% of people wish they could have a text conversation even with a business. And with only two out of 10 people answering their phone, video text can be a great solution for you when reaching out to for sale by owners. Not to mention it really separates you from the competition who's probably not video texting them. Now I don't suggest that all 12 touches are done via video text, just maybe one here and there, but especially that first one. Separate yourself from the competition, make an introduction where they can actually see your face and hear your tone of voice as you're making that first connection. All right, so now let's get really vulnerable for a second. You might be thinking you don't wanna do video text because you don't like how you sound and you don't like how you look on video. Am I right? I know this not because I'm psychic, y'all, but because so many people call me and message me saying that exact same thing. And while I do understand, because trust me, I think some of the same thoughts, I can really simplify it. This is how you look, this is how you sound, you're perfect the way you are, and lastly, once the leads start rolling in, that commission you're picking up will outweigh all of those feelings, I promise you. So just start practicing and move forward with imperfect action. So now it's time for you to comment below out of the first three ideas, which one do you like best? All right, let's move on to idea number four. Mm -hmm. And this is networking with business providers or what I call vendors. Now, the reason I like to network, heck, I like to network with anyone, right? I'm constantly looking to add new names to my sphere list. However, 
When you are purposeful about reaching out to business providers or vendors, these are people that are usually in front of a lot of other people each and every day inside their businesses. So they're sometimes capable of giving you more referrals than some of the other names in your sphere of influence. So my suggestion is kind of old school, which is, Definitely be wearing your name badge or branded gear as you're out and about. You always have errands to run during the day in between appointments. So whether you're at Starbucks, the grocery store, definitely wear your branded gear, but also pay attention to the people around you that are wearing the branded gear, because that is an instant conversation starter for you to be able to bring value to them and whatever business they do. So they might ask you, oh, you're a realtor, how's the market? you will always say it depends and then start a conversation around where they live. But a lot of the times they may not be starting the conversation. So you would look at their branded gear and say, oh, I see you're in the roofing business. So tell me about that. And then start conversation of how you can provide them value. So for example, you might say something like, so how is your roofing business going? And could you benefit from more referrals? They're gonna be blown away, you guys, that you're instantly offering to help them in their business. And then you're going to basically be just adding questions onto that based on their answers. So if they can benefit from referrals, what you do is say, well, tell me, what does that look like? Who's your ideal client? And what is your geographical area that you serve? These are the types of questions that when they start to talk, they're authoring the plan of your new relationship. And when they author the plan, it can't be wrong, right? So at this point, we have another landing page that we like to send our new connections to. And I might just text them the link to this landing page. And it's a short form they can fill out right on their phone that lets me know how would I get a hold of them if I have a referral for them and so on and so on. And then it automatically puts them into a spreadsheet. I'll show you that landing page right here on the screen. Now, if you don't have a landing page, you can either make one on Google Forms for free or you can just simply take down the information right there when you're with them. So once you've collected the data from either in person or from the forms, it is now going to serve as a vendor sheet that when you're out and about helping your clients during the real estate transaction, you will know what vendors to refer them to. But here is the key, you guys. These are not just names for your vendor list. These are names that should now go on your sphere of influence list because these are now people that you should be marketing to on a regular basis to get those listing referrals. So when you're reaching out to people with a win-win, looking to help them in their business, you can't go wrong. Now we're on to number five, and that is using social proof on social media channels, especially Facebook, because Facebook's own analytics show that the average consumer opens the Facebook app eight to 14 times a day. Can you believe that? So if your sphere and people you know is hanging out there anyway, wouldn't that be a great place to post some social proof making you the expert in your area and making you top of mind for those listing referrals? Now this could be as simple as posting the testimonials from clients that you've worked with, or maybe even running a Facebook ad so that you are seen as the expert in your area to your sphere of influence. But use these social media channels to build their confidence that you're working with clients, you're a successful agent, and make it top of mind for them to send you referrals. It'll really make them confident that when they do send you referrals, you know what you're doing and you're a top agent. I've actually had friends contact me or send me private messages that say, oh my gosh, Amber, every time I open Facebook or Instagram, there you are helping another client. And you guys, this is crucial. It helps them to gain confidence that you're the realtor of choice and puts you top of mind for all those listing referrals. So to recap the five ways for you to get more listing leads in today's market, are you ready? Number one, is your sphere of influence. Number two would be the VIP programs. Number three is for sale by owners. Number four is networking every day with new business providers or vendors. And number five is social proof. So hey guys, here's a question. Which one of these five was your favorite? Go ahead and comment below because I personally love to hear from you and I read every single comment. But if you like this video, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel and even hit the bell so you can get notified when future videos are uploaded. Bye for now.